Hi, my name is Amber Case. I'm a cyborg anthropologist. I study the interaction between humans and technology. I just got done watching Alita Battle Angel, and I'd like to tell you something you might not know, and that's that, like Alita, you are a cyborg. I know that might come as a shock, but the truth is that we are all cyborgs. Whenever we use a computer, we're a cyborg. Technology is a tool. A hammer is an extension of our fist, or a knife as an extension of our teeth, or AI as an extension of our brains. I grew up with the original Alita manga. It's actually one of the reasons why I study cyborgs now. The original definition of the word cyborg came from a 1960 paper on space travel, in which people added external components to adapt to new environments. Alita Battle Angel is set in a futuristic city divided by class. One day, cybernetic doctor Ido finds the remains of Alita in the trash. She's a human brain built into 300-year-old technology, resting in suspended animation. So just like in our world, like the world of Alita, we have people extending their bodies with machines, but they're still human in mind. It's Alita's journey to discover this fact about herself, that she's more than just a piece of junk, and more than an insignificant person, is what makes this film so unique. Alita's uniqueness is twofold. First, she has this very elegant crafted body. It's almost Victorian-like. There's something to be said in a world obsessed with the new about the old. Sometimes the old can outperform the new. Alita's knowledge of the legendary cyborg martial art Panzer Kunz is another reason why she's different. This art was specifically created for cyborg combat to deliberately amplify the best of humans and the best of machines. I'm excited for this film and what it means for embracing our newfound cyborg status going forward. So what are your thoughts on the future of humans and technology? Are you happy to be a cyborg? Alita Battle Angel, see this beautiful film in theaters.